welcome. This will be about a 45 minute vinyasa flow. So we'll move the body, build strength, flexibility. It'll just be a nice feel good flow. As always, take breaks as you need in child's pose or on your back. You can always take options, layer down, layer up. So make it more challenging or less, just whatever your body's asking for today. And we'll begin in child's pose. Draw your knees really wide to the edges of your mat. Bring your big toes together to touch. Reach and extend your fingertips forward and then place your forehead down on your mat. And take a few breaths here just to settle in. Scan your body from head to toe. Notice your muscles, your joints, anywhere that feels a little tight, anywhere you're holding tension. And then begin to slow your breath. Take a big breath in through the nose. And in open mouth exhale, let something go from your mind. And again, breathe in longer, richer, fuller breath. Notice your ribs expand, your side ribs, your back ribs. And exhale, release. And now seal your lips, breathe in through your nose. And slow breath out through your nose. Keep your lips sealed as you release the breath. And continue on your own. Build a rhythm to your breath. Same length inhales. Same length exhales. And notice the breath. Build a little heat from within. And allow the rhythm of your breath to quiet the distractions in your mind so you're able to stay present and just honor this time with you. And take a couple more breaths here. And now on your inhales, reach a little further forward, tense your fingertips to the earth, maybe your forearms lift, and then press your sit bone closer to your heels. And now walk your hands to the right side of your space, maybe your left hand comes on top of the right, breathe through the left waist. And then move your hands to center, find the other side, ground the right sit bone down. And then back to center, take another slow round of breath. And on your next inhale, rise up to tabletop, hands and knees. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Put a little micro bend in the elbows. Inhale to cow pose, let your belly fall, lift your gaze, arch the spine. And exhale, cat, round and dome, chin to chest, navel in. And again, inhale to cow, belly falls, gaze in. And exhale, cat, round and down. Move through a few more of these on your own. Add any other movements that feel needed in your body. That could be hip sways or circles, wrists or ankle circles. Maybe close your eyes for a few breaths. Just take some intuitive movement. And then slowly back to a neutral spine. Reach your right arm forward, turn your thumb up like you're shaking someone's hand, then extend the left heel back, flex the foot, tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the left glute, gaze down, lengthen from your left heel through your fingertips, just pause. On your next inhale, reach your right arm to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee, grab for the outside edge of the foot, so the pinky side of the foot. Gently press your palm away, just get a big stretch through the front of the body. You can look out over your right shoulder for more. And on your next inhale, re-extend, lengthen. And exhale, tabletop right back to center. Take a moment to reset. Pull the navel in, keep the gaze down, and switch sides. Left arm forward, thumb faces the sky. Send the right heel back, roll the hip down. Lengthen your tailbone towards the heels. So again, you're finding that slight tuck of the pelvis under, squeeze the right glute. And on your in-breath, left arm to the sky, bend the right knee, grab the outside edge of the foot, kick away, feel that big, big stretch, gaze out over the left shoulder. And on your inhale, re-extend. And exhale, tabletop, back to center. And take a full inhale here. Exhale, puppy pose, walk your hands to the front of your space, press your heart to the mat, get a bigger chest and shoulder stretch. You can either place your forehead down or for a deeper stretch your chin. And then walk your hands back in underneath your shoulders, step right back into a plank pose. And 
any time we're in any sort of a plank, a chaturanga push-up, a side plank, you can always bring your knees to the ground. Scoop the low belly in, press the earth away. Flip with your fingertips, take one more inhale. Down dog, exhale, Adho Mukha Konasana, hips to the sky. Pedal out your feet, take some natural movement here. Again, just waking up the body. And then settle into your down dog. Soften your knees enough to lengthen the spine. So it's common to want to straighten out the leg, but that can sometimes put tension in the low back. So if you feel like you're rounding the back a lot, if you're a little tight in the hamstrings, bend the knees a little bit and you're able to lift the sit bones higher and press the heart back, still pushing into the inner palm, fingertips, knuckles of the hands. One more inhale here. As you exhale, just walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Find a wide fold at the back of your space. Grab opposite elbows, sway side to side, forward and back. Shake out your head, yes and no. And then reach your hands behind your back, interlace all 10 of your fingers. Let the arms drop forward, head falls heavy. And take one more inhale. Exhale, release. Left fingertips stay down, inhale your right arm to the sky, soften the left knee, lengthen the right hamstring, hug the right hip in. And one more inhale. Exhale, back to center, right fingertips down, inhale your left arm to the sky, and pull the crown of the head forward, keep drawing the left hip in. And one more in breath. Exhale, back to center. Inhale to a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. You can always bring your palms to your shin bones, pull the crown of the head forward, squeeze the shoulder blades in, so your back is flat like a tabletop. Take one more in breath. Exhale, walk back to your plank pose. Again, so your shoulders stack over your wrists. Now shift forward to the tips of the toes. Just lower all the way down to your belly. Tops of your feet to the mat. Reach your hands behind your back. Interlace the palms. Look down. Try to squeeze the palms together. Exhale first. Then inhale, lift up, reaching the fist back, crown of the head forward, warming into the spine. It's always hard to talk in this position. <laughs> Take a one more inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Bring your palms back by your sides, breathe in. Exhale, child's pose, just press it back. And take a nice long round of breath. On your next inhale, back to tabletop. Back to plank as you exhale. Pause for an inhale, down dog, exhale. And take a slow round of breath. And then we'll take our first vinyasa here, shift forward to plank. Then just glide forward to the tips of the toes, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, it's simply a tricep push-up, lower halfway down, you can always bring your knees to the ground here. Up dog as you inhale, tops of the feet to the mat, pull the heart forward, push down to lift up. And then down dog, exhale, tuck your toes, use your ab strength to lift your hips. Full breath in, and slow breath out. Inhale, your right leg lifts. And bend your knee, open your hip, let this feel good in the body. You can take some circles from the hip, wiggle the toes, whatever your body's asking for. Now square the hips, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, round and down, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot all the way between your hands. If it didn't quite land there, walk your foot forward so your knee is over your heel. You're going to feel a good stretch up your left quad. Pull your shoulders down out of your ears. If you have yoga blocks, you can always put them underneath your hands. Left knee comes to the ground, crescent moon. Inhale, arms to the sky. Just get a big stretch through the front body. Put a little tuck of the pelvis under so you're using your abs to take pressure out of the low back. You can always stay up a little higher here. And maybe gently look up, draw the shoulder blades in. Take one more inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Simply lift the back knee. Left hand stays down. Inhale your right arm to the sky. Toes open. Firm the back leg. Draw the right knee back. Pressing down to reach up. Take one more inhale. Back to lunge as you exhale. Look forward. Breathe in. Exhale. Just fold at the top of your mat. Step your left big toe next to your right. Stay light in the toes. Half lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Mountain pose, rise up, breathe in. Ground your feet, reach and extend through your fingertips. 
and take a full in-breath. Bend back, exhale, press the hips forward, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, just hold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Lower halfway, again, you can always use your knees. Up dog on the inhale. Down dog, exhale. Full breath in. And complete breath out. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Bend your knee. Do what you did on the previous side. And now level the hips. Inhale. Knee to nose. Exhale. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot all the way through. Again, slide the foot forward if it didn't quite land between the hands. You want, again, the knee over the heel. Lighten up any gripping in the toes. Lengthen through the spine. Now right knee to the ground. Crescent moon, breathe in. Just a kneeling lunge. Lift up. If the left hip wants to pop to the side, keep drawing it in. Tuck the hips under, ribs close in. Wrap the pinkies forward. And again, maybe you gently bend back. Again, you can even cactus the arms a bit here. Inhale to reach up. Exhale back to your lunge. Hands frame the front foot, lift the back knee. Right hand down, inhale your left arm to the sky. Find that nice extension through the fingertips. You can look up if that feels good in your body. One more inhale, low lunge, exhale, look forward, breathe in, exhale, push off the back foot, fold forward at the top of your space, half lift, inhale, exhale, fold, mountain pose, rise up, breathe in, exhale, baby back bend, inhale, reach, exhale, fold, and that's low lunge, half lift, inhale, hi baby, exhale, chaturanga, step back, Lower half leg, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out, and full inhale, slow exhale. And we'll move with the rhythm of the breath. It's a moving meditation. Try to find the rhythm of the breath with the pose and the transitions. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge, step all the way through. Left knee down, inhale, crescent moon, arms, oops, <laughs> arms lift. Exhale, low lunge. Left hand down, right arm to the sky, inhale. Back to lunge, exhale, look forward, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, bend back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, low lunge. Right knee down, crescent moon, inhale. Exhale, back to low lunge. Right hand down, inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, back to lunge. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose, rise up, breathe in, arms to the sky. Exhale, bend back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Pause in your down dog. Take a long breath in. And a slow, complete breath out. And we'll add on. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, travel to the top. You can step your feet or lightly float. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana, bend your knees, sit low, rise up. And just pause here and breathe. Ground into the heels of the feet. Send your hips back so you feel your glutes. If you're overarching the low back, activate the low belly. Just tuck the pelvis a little bit under. You can always reach the arms forward instead of up if that feels better for you. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane arms. Fly your arms by your side. Squeeze your triceps. Now lift your heels off the floor as you inhale. Sit a little lower as you exhale. Keep your heels high. Inhale, reach back to chair. 
pause for the exhale, sit a little deeper, one point of focus for balance, big breath in, exhale, fold, half lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, and you can always skip the push-up, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, inhale, your right leg high, exhale, knee to mouse, inhale, re-extend, exhale, low lunge, step your foot all the way between your hands, Ground your feet, inhale, rise up to crescent pose, high lunge. So now the back knee is off the floor. All 10 toes face forward. Draw the low belly in. Keep the ribs pulling in. And take a full breath in. Exhale, airplane arms, firm the back leg, just hinge forward, fly your arms by your side. If you notice your right hip pop to the right side, pull the right hip back in, roll the shoulder head back. Feeling a little effort in your right quad and glute. On your inhale, back to crescent, just reach up, extend. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the side of your space. Adjust your feet so your front heel makes a straight line to the arch of the back foot. Right knee stacks over right heel. You can always take your hands manually and level the pelvis. Sometimes the back hip wants to sass back. You just wanna lift the front hip pointer up. Again, keep that generous bend in the front leg. Push through the outer edges of the feet, extend through the fingertips, lift the crown up. Now flip your right palm up, inhale, reverse warrior. So everything from the hips down stays the same. You're just lengthening the side body. One more breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach the right arm forward, just tick tock the arms. Right arm down, left arm up. It doesn't matter how low you go in the leg. You can go lower as long as you keep the length through the right side body. We still wanna activate our abs. Option to take one arm or both arms forward. Again, you should feel a nice little sensation in the right quad. Roll the heart up, push the thigh back. Good, on your inhale, star pose, heels and toes out. Exhale, parallel your arms, parallel your feet, lift on the inhale. Exhale, just fold into a wide-legged straddle, prostrate up Padottanasana. Take a few breaths here. You can grab for your legs, your feet, pull yourself in a little bit closer. Just let this feel good in the body. Take a little natural movement. And now face your right leg. Grab one with your left hand. Extend your right arm to the sky. And then slowly release to center. Lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, other side. Now face the left leg. Grab on with the right hand. Left arm lifts. Just for the setup, getting this little extra stretch. And one more in-breath. Exhale, back to center, pause for a round of breath. And as you inhale, lengthen the spine, find a flat back here. Exhale, low lunge, just pivot to the front of your mat. So again, all 10 toes face forward. Inhale, standing splits, left leg lifts, fold over the front leg, roll the hips slightly down. You can grab on and pull yourself in closer for a balance challenge. Opening into the right hamstring, you can always bend the knee more. Again, if you have yoga blocks, they can go under your hands. Take one more inhale. Low lunge, exhale, take a giant soft step back. Left hand stays down, inhale, right arm to the sky. We've been here before just for the breath. Exhale, chaturanga, use your core strength to float the leg back. If you want more, toes float as you lower. Of course, the right foot can come down, the knees can come down, or you can skip it. Back in your down dog, reset. Take a nice deep inhale and a slow exhale. Other side, inhale, your left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge, place your foot through. Ground the feet, inhale, crescent, high lunge, rise up. Again, settle in, draw the lower abs in, roll the pinkies in, level the pelvis. Again, using your core just as much as everything else. Your, cent your foundation is your center. It's the most important thing. And big breath in. Exhale, airplane arms hinge forward. Now straighten the back leg. The left hip pops to the side. Again, hug it back to the center. Squeeze the tricep. Roll the shoulders back. Just breathe. Press the back knee up so the back leg's working just as hard. Everything stays the same as you inhale. Sweep the arms forward. 
Good, and then rise up slowly. Sink down a little bit deeper. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, warrior two, spin open. And adjust the feet. Front heel lines with the arch of the back foot. Press the left thigh back. Lift through the crown of the head. Challenge yourself to stay nice and low in the front leg and still strong and active through the back leg. Now flip the left palm up. Inhale, reverse warrior, lengthen. Sit a little deeper into the left side. Again, level the pelvis. Lift the left hip pointer up. And one more breath in. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, left arm lowers, right arm lifts. Press the thigh back, roll your heart to face the sky. Still pushing into the outer edge of the back foot. One or both arms can come forward, do what you did on the first side. Keep drawing the low belly in. And as you inhale, star pose, find that nice expansive stretch. Exhale, parallel the arms, parallel the feet, lift as you inhale, fold as you exhale couple breaths here. Again, adjust your feet here as needed. Option to reach your hands behind your back, interlace your palms, head falls heavy. Take a few moments. And just one more breath in. Exhale, hands to your mat, flat back, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, pivot to the front of your space. Standing splits, inhale, your back leg lifts, right leg lifts. Roll the hip down, option with one or both hands to pull yourself in a little bit closer. Oops. <laughs> and take one more inhale here. Exhale, low lunge, softly land your back foot down. Right hand down, inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, chaturanga, float it back, lower through. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Full breath in and slow breath out. And we'll put it together with the breath and getting the heart rate up just a little bit, finding that rhythm. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or lightly hop to the top. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low, rise up. Exhale, airplane arms. Lift your heels, inhale. Sit lower, exhale. Heels stay high, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent pose, rise up. Exhale, airplane arm. Inhale, with control, back to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, right arm down. Inhale, star pose, heels in. Exhale, right to prostrate up, parallel the feet, fold with the flat back. Lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, back to lunge. Left hand down, inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Ground down. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Exhale, airplane arm. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, star, heels in, lift. Exhale, parallel your feet, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, back to lunge. Right hand down, left arm high, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take a full breath in and a slow breath out. One more time through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, rise. Exhale, airplane arms. Lift your heels, inhale. Sit deeper, exhale. Heels stay lifted. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. 
to exhale, chaturanga, option to float back. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse, star pose. <laughs> Exhale, cross the right up, parallel the feet. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Standing splits, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Left hand down, right arm high, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Last time through, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, rise up strong. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, lift back up, crescent. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, star, lift. Exhale, prosarita, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, low lunge. Right hand down, inhale, left arm lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, full breath in. And slow breath out. Lower your knees to the mat. We'll just do a little bit of ab work here. Take a seat at the top of your space. Find a boat pose. Draw your feet together, your thighs together. Lengthen through the spine. You can stay right here. If you want more, lift your legs. Option to extend the arms forward. Just draw the shoulder blades in. If you want to layer on from there, extend the legs, extend the arms. Pull the shoulder blades down your back. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give a little squeeze. Hands come by your side. Just rock the legs side to side. And then lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees in for a moment. Rock side to side. And then we'll start with the legs to the sky. Hands behind your head. Shoulder blades off the floor. Find a little lift. Exhaling as you lift. So straighten the legs as much as you can. Pull your belly button in. Now add an ankle reach, opposite hand, opposite ankle. Getting into the oblique muscles that run down the sides of the abs. Again, our core is our foundation, so that's why I incorporate a lot of ab work into our yoga practice because it's so important for stability, strength. It's literally your powerhouse in your center. Four more. Three, two, good. Hands back behind your head. Bend your legs to tabletop. Legs go out and in. You're on the last 45 seconds here. Inhale out. Exhale in. Out and in. Four more here. Three. Two. Good. Right to a bicycle to finish. Yogi bicycle. Side to side. 30 seconds. That's it. Reaching through your toes. Exhale as you twist. Your legs can come closer to the ground for more. Keep them higher if that feels better in your body. Good. Just eight more here. Stay with it for four. Super strong. Three. Last two. And one. Stretch it out. Arms long, legs long. Amazing job. Take a big breath in. And a slow breath out. Draw your knees into your heart. Give yourself a loving squeeze. Rock side to side. Then bring your feet to the ground, hip width apart, your toes face forward for a bridge. Ground the feet, lift your hips. This is a nice stretch for the front of the body after we just do our ab work. If it feels good, you can tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, press the fists and forearms down, ground into the feet. It's tempting to peel the knees open and lift the inner arches. You wanna do the opposite, ground the inner foot and spiral the tops of the thighs down. So you're energetically hugging the knees slightly in, Take just one more breath in. And as you exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Supta Baddha Konasana, butterfly your knees open. 
Soles of the feet touch. Perhaps you take one palm to your belly, one to your heart center. Close your eyes, take a few long breaths. Slow down for a moment. Notice any thoughts or distractions that have wandered back into your mind. Do your best just to let them go and come back to the rhythm of your ujjayi breath, your yogic breath. Take a long inhale through the nose. And ujjayi, exhale, sealed lips, breathe out through your nose. And then at your own pace, draw the knees together, hug them into your heart, give a little squeeze. And then rock all the way up and over, make your way back to down dog. Sometimes it feels good to get a little belly stretch in your up dog, and then right back to down dog. We'll just do a short standing series, and then we'll cool everything down. Take a full breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale your right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, across to the left. Inhale, fall in triangle. Send your right leg to the side of your space. Press your hips and heart up. You can always bring your right knee to the ground here. If you want more, you can lift the right leg. One more inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Use your ab strength to place your foot two. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one. Your Bajrasana one. In warrior one, our back foot's angled more towards the front corner of our space. Sometimes it helps to draw the right hip manually back and tuck the pelvis slightly under. Reach through your fingertips. Take one more inhale. Exhale, reach your hands behind your back. Interlace the palms, lift the heart on the in-breath. Humble warriors, you exhale, hinge with the flat back and then fold. Let your head fall really heavy. You're going to work to nuzzle the right shoulder inside the right thigh as you pull the left hip forward. Just a couple breaths here, still pushing through the outer edge of the back foot. And take one more breath in. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Just lengthen the spine as you inhale. Exhale, back to prasarita. So now we're just turning to the side of our space. You can turn the big toes in a touch. We're only here for a couple breaths. And now soften the knees, lengthen the spine, open the arms, arms wide, root your feet, inhale, rise all the way up to star pose, heels and toes up. As you exhale, horse, bend into your knees, find a little movement in the hips. Draw the lower abs and lift the chest. And bring your palms to your sides, hinge forward, dip the shoulders side to side. You should feel nice in the body. And then back to center, palms together at your heart, sit a little lower. Inhale, rise to star. Exhale, warrior two, readjust your feet. You might need a longer stance. Bend into the front knee again, level the pelvis. Flip the palm up, inhale, reverse warrior. Now turn your gaze forward as you exhale, lift into half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Again, if you have a block, it can go under the hand or you can bring your fingertips to the ground. Bend the right knee a little more if you need to. Flex the left foot, option to stay here or chapasana. Bend the left knee, reach back, capture the outer edge of the foot, and then kick the palm away. So it's like we did in that cat cow variation at the beginning of class. Draw the left shoulder back. You can look to the side or up to challenge your balance more. And if you have the foot, slowly re-extend, take a breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Roll the hip down, tuck your left knee behind your right. Join your palms together at your heart, ground down. Inhale, rise up to a one-legged mountain pose. Flex the left foot, align your knee with your hip. Option to straighten the left leg forward, take a breath in. Exhale, airplane decasana, fly it back. Parallel your torso to the earth, draw the shoulder blades in. Join your palms together at your heart, take an inhale. Exhale, standing split, soften the knee as you bring your hands to the mat. Lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Ground your left palm, inhale, right arm to the sky. Right to a side plank pose, spin to the outer edge of the left foot, right foot meets left. You can stay here, or lift the leg, take the arm forward. Just one more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga or straight to your down dog. Back and down dog, take a long breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, reach it high. 
Exhale across to the right, hold. Fall in triangle, inhale. Go where you did on the first side. Again, the knee can always come down. Option to float the foot. One more breath in. Low lunge, exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot all the way through. Now first spin the back foot flat. Ground down, warrior one as you inhale, fear of a draw snow one. Sink into the legs, lift the inner arch of the back foot, draw the left hip in. One more inhale. Exhale, reach it back, take the opposite grip from the previous side, lift on the inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold, humble warrior. Roll the right shoulder down, head falls really heavy. Push the outer edge of the back foot down. Keep your left knee over left heel. Again, you're only here for a couple breaths. And one more inhale. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Lengthen the spine, breathe in. Exhale, prostrate to face the other side of your space. Take a round of breath just to reset. And then soften the knees, lengthen the spine, open the arms wide, root down. Inhale, rise up, star pose again, heels and toes out. Exhale, horse, bend your knees. Take a few breaths here. Draw the low belly in. Option to stay here, lift your heels and send your arms to the sky. Feel a little effort in your calves and your quads. Challenge your balance. One more breath in. And exhale, palms back to your heart, lower the heels. Inhale, rise up, star. Exhale, warrior two, readjust your feet. Flip the palm up, inhale, reverse warrior. Look forward as you exhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take your time to find your balance. You can always bend the left knee more, energize the lifted leg first, get it really strong and sturdy, and then go where you did on the previous side. So if you found Chapasana sugar cane pose, grab to the outer edge of the foot, kick your heel away from your glute. So it's a big standing back bend. Good, no rush at all. Mindfully re-extend the leg, take a breath in. Exhale, right hand comes to the ground, Shiva squat, roll the hip down, tuck your right knee behind your left. Draw your palms together at your heart using your glutes and your core, push down. Inhale, rise up with control. Good, take your time here, get strong through the standing leg, flex the right foot, option to press the right heel forward. Big breath in. Exhale, airplane, fly it back. And just pause here, roll the hip down, draw the shoulder blades in, squeeze the triceps. Gazing down, neck is long. Now guide your palms together at your heart. Take a big in breath. Exhale, standing split. Slowly, softly bend the knee. Bring your hands to the mat. Lengthen the spine, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge, step all the way back. Adjust your stance as needed. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. Side plank, last little bit of effort. Left foot meets right. You can lift the leg, take the arm forward, go where you did before, then bottom knee can always come down. Take one more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Find your vinyasa all the way back to your downward facing dog. Take a long breath in. And open mouth exhale. Let something go. And then simply lower to your knees. And take a seat. Butterfly your knees open. Draw the soles of the feet to touch. We'll slow everything down. Lengthen as you inhale. And fold as you exhale. You're going to feel a stretch through your hips, your glutes, your spine. You can walk your hands forward. And then slowly rise up. Draw your knees together. Extend both legs forward. Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Flex the feet, soften the knees, reach up as you inhale. Hinge from the hips and fold as you exhale. Relax any tension in the neck, the shoulders. This is a good pose just to cool everything down, release the entire back body, slow the nervous system. And then rise up one vertebra at a time as you inhale. Exhale, reverse sit up. Use a little ab strength as you slowly lower all the way to your back. 
Once you're there, hug your knees and give a little squeeze and then find a figure four stretch. Ground the left foot, cross the right ankle over the left. You can stay here or lift the left foot, press the right knee open. And from here, we'll move right into a supine twist. Re-extend the left leg long, right knee comes to the side of the body, hug it in, inhale. Exhale, twist, take your knee across the body. Extend your right arm, gaze out over your right shoulder. Ground the shoulders down, gaze into your spine. And then slowly unwind to center. Hug your knees into your heart, give a little squeeze. And then we'll take figure four, other side, right foot down, left ankle crosses. Again, you can stay here or thread the needle, lift the foot, press the left thigh back. And then right into our supine twist, extend the right leg long, take the left knee to the side, hug it and inhale. Exhale, twist knee across the body. Left arm extends, gaze left. And close your eyes for the rest of your practice. Let everything settle in. And then gently unwind to center. Hug your knees into your heart. Wrap yourself up into a tiny little ball. Forehead to knees. Give yourself a giant loving squeeze. Take a big inhale. And exhale, release final shavasana, final resting pose. Extend your arms long by your side, your legs heavy and wide. If it feels good, tuck your shoulders a little bit under the body and lift the heart space. And allow yourself to enjoy these final precious moments of your practice in stillness and peace. And take the time to absorb and receive all the beautiful benefits of your amazing effort and strength today. And you are more than welcome to stay as you are. If you'd like more time to rest, please do if you have the time. If you're ready to gently mindfully reawaken, first begin to deepen your breath. And then wiggle your fingers and your toes, circle your ankles and wrists. And take a full body stretch, reach, lengthen, expand through the side body. And draw your knees into your heart. Give yourself another little squeeze. And then roll to your favorite side, right or left. Let your head just rest in your biceps. Take a few moments to reconnect. And then gently rise up to a tall seat. Again, take as much time as you need. And join your palms together at your heart center. Close your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice, sharing your energy, and allowing me to guide you. Draw your thumbs up to your third eye, seat of intuition, the light and love in me. 
sees, honors, and fully appreciates that same light and love within you. Please take what you received from your practice with you as you move throughout the rest of your day, your evening, whatever time it is for you. And take one more slow round of breath. And namaste. Have a beautiful day. Thank you again so much for joining. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel now and my website, jennygeyseryoga.com. So feel free to visit. You can always reach out by sending me a message. I love to hear from you guys. And otherwise, take care. Sending love. And see you soon.